What's going on, y'all? It's your main man, DJ Prime, and today I have a big question for all y'all. Should all DJs scratch? Now, I know this might be a polarizing topic for some DJs. I mean, I've had this question asked and thrown around. I've heard it a bazillion times throughout my DJ career. Should all DJs scratch? The answer is no. All right, great video, y'all. Peace. And yes, while I'm saying it's not required to scratch in order to be a successful DJ, in my opinion, you should want to. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five reasons why every DJ should want to scratch. All right, reason number one why every DJ should want to learn how to scratch is because it's dope as f I mean, come on, scratching is something that when it's well executed at a party or at a club, it just sounds so dope. When you hear a DJ pull off a really dope scratch or a transition using scratching at a club or at a party or even at a festival or whatever, it just kind of just hits you in the chest. It's just, you have to acknowledge that, wow, that was dope, man. That's just some talent right there. And why wouldn't you want to be a part of that vibe? Ain't nobody trying to hear no scratching in no nightclub or no party. All that stuff is noise. Get out of here with that nonsense. Damn! Now, yes, scratching at a party or at a club or whatever, it has to be the right time. It has to be the right place. Just think about it. It could be your time and it could be your moment. Why not want to make it happen? Quick analogy. So think about playing basketball, right? You don't have to know how to dunk to be a talented basketball player. But just like everyone loves Mike, you should want to learn how to dunk. It should be an aspirational goal. And same way for DJing, you should want to know and you should want to learn the skills. And that's what scratching really can be. It's a way to show off the talent and the skills that you have to be able to control what it is that you're doing when you're DJing. The full breadth of the DJ skill set is something that anybody can learn as long as you put in a little bit of time and put in the effort to make it happen. All right, reason number two why every DJ should want to learn how to scratch, your creative possibilities that manipulating the music that you're playing by scratching songs out and scratching them in. Honestly, it's just a really dope tool to have in your tool belt. That liberating feeling of being able to control your music. You don't have to wait to always mix things in a four bar or an eight bar intro or none of that stuff. And I just, I really just love that for you. You know what I mean? All right, reason number three is that learning how to scratch, it's a stretch goal. Think about the analogy I had for doing a slam dunk. No one knows how to dunk off the rip. Well, Maybe some people do, but I didn't know how to dunk off the rip and I still don't know how to dunk today. But I taught myself how to scratch by committing myself to learning a little bit every day, practicing, having something I want to aspire to, right? So as a DJ, think about scratching as a stretch goal. It's not something you're gonna achieve overnight, but if you put in some time, the possibilities are endless and you can do it. All right, reason number four, growth mindset. And I say this because, as a DJ, you have to constantly be open to the ever-changing technology and ways of the DJ world. I'm personally open to every bit of technology and every new skill that I can learn to be able to do what I like to do and to do it in a better way. So by applying yourself and learning how to scratch, you're facilitating having a growth mindset. You know, you're open. Things are going to be changing. New technology, like I said, uh, the DJs of the future are going to influence the way that DJs of the past are doing things. And being open to that and being open to learn and apply yourself is something that's required to scratch and also just to be a dope DJ. And the fifth and final reason is that resources are everywhere in 2022. There is an unlimited plethora of resources to learn how to scratch everywhere. It's online, it's on Instagram, it's on TikTok, it's on Facebook, it's on freaking VHS, it's on DVD. I mean, when I was coming up, you had to really find people that knew how to scratch really well. You had to get with them. You didn't have access to everything you have available now. Nowadays, you, you can find tutorials in 4K. You can watch videos at 50% speed, 25% speed. You can see things slowing down. You can do all kinds of stuff that wasn't available in the past. So again, resources are everywhere. And the best thing is that you can even hit up DJs you look up to and ask them for advice. You can hit up all your favorite DJs. You can hit up DJ Qbert. You can hit up DJ Scratch Bastard. You can hit up DJ Angelo. You can tag your favorite DJs in the videos that you make and ask them for critique and for feedback. And you know what? Five out of 10 times you're gonna give it to you because it's so easy to do. And it's just like you, you know what I mean? They had to learn at one point and they're gonna love to pass that knowledge forward to you. Hit me up if you need help. I'm down to help any DJ that wants to learn how to get better or wants to learn how to scratch do their thing. So hit me up anytime and I'm here as a resource to help you too. So if you're interested in learning how to scratch, I've actually compiled a list of some of my favorite tutorials and some of the best examples for motivation. I'm gonna compile those and put them inside the description of this video. So as a DJ, we can all choose our own lanes. You know what I mean? You can just be a mixer, you can be a club guy, you can be a wedding guy, you can be an events person, you can be a radio person, and it's dope. That's what modern DJing is, and that's why it's so beautiful. Now, again, you don't need to learn how to scratch to be a successful DJ, but just like the slam dunk, you should want to. So what do you think? Do you think all DJs should learn how to scratch? Yes, 
No, maybe, maybe sometimes, maybe not. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's talk about it. It's all about learning, it's all about growth. So if you learned anything in this video or have a strong opinion, let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please turn on that notification bell so you know when new videos are released on this channel. Thank you again for taking the time to hear what I have to say. It's your boy DJ Prime. Peace.